everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Today I've got a tiny little book haul, including my unboxing of my Mr. B's subscription book. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books, but despite those way too many books, I have acquired two more books in October and I have just received my Mr. B's subscription book. If you haven't been here on my channel before, I receive a crime syndicate subscription book from Mr. B's Emporium in Bath every month. This was a Christmas present from my lovely mum who bought me a year-long subscription so I've been receiving one book every month. I've enjoyed lots of the books so far and I haven't opened this one yet so I can't wait to see what's inside for the month of October. And after we've unboxed this I have got two more books to show you that I've hauled in October when I was hoping not to haul any books but oh well let's let's keep going so the unboxing first um let's see every single month so far I've had a new to me author and that's been really exciting and it is a, a newly released paperback every month so been pretty safe so far in not having duplicated anything that I've already read. So it always comes in this cool detective sleeve. I can't guess what this is. It says in Hollywood nobody talks but everybody whispers and on the back I can see a quote that says searing timely everybody knows pulls back Hollywood's velvet cushion, Megan Abbott. So I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. See if we can get the little dust jacket off. This is the bit I always have trouble with. And it is Everybody Knows by Jordan Harper, which I've never heard of and I've never seen this cool cover. That looks really interesting. Never seen that one. So it says, welcome to May Pruitt's LA. A black bag publicist at one of Hollywood's most powerful crisis PR firms, May's job isn't to get good news out, it's to keep the bad news in and contain the scandals. But just as she starts to question her job and life choices, her boss is gunned down in front of the Beverly Hills Hotel and everything changes. Investigating with the help of an ex-boyfriend, May dives headlong into a neon joyride through the jungle of contemporary Hollywood. Pitted against the twisted system she's worked so hard to perpetuate, She's desperately fighting for redemption and her life. I have not heard anything about this one. Michael Connolly said at the bottom here, the book everyone's been waiting for. What I've really loved about Mr. B so far, and this book is no exception, is that there's been such a range of different settings. So we've had US set books, but within that there's been like the first book I think I had was like really sort of set out in like a town in the US in the south and this one in LA. There's also one I've not read yet that was set in Hong Kong. We've had one from a Swedish author. We've had um, a couple of Australian authors, one of which was set in the Outback. And we've also had some British crime authors. It's been a really wide range. And although we've never heard of Jordan Harper, it does say that Jordan Harper's got three other books. The Last King of California, She Rides Shotgun, Love and Other Wounds Stories. And this was first published this year. And what does it say in the back? Jordan Harper has spent over a decade in Hollywood as a writer for shows such as Fox's Gotham and CBS as The Mentalist. He is the Edgar Award winning author of She Rides Shotgun, published in the UK as A Lesson in Violence and Love and Other Wounds. So that's a bit about Jordan Harper. And yeah, I enjoyed the series Gotham, so the hat bodes well for it. Very happy with this choice from Mr. B's. I will hope to get to that soon, but I am definitely reading the September pick in October because that was um, this one set in Oxford which was set in Victorian times so I want to get to that first and possibly to some of the others I'm behind with so we will see when I get to that one but I will review it when I do get to it. <laughs> Let's have a very quick look at the other two books that I've obtained this month. The first one is 
Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury and I got this for $3.99 in a cheap bookshop in Norwich on bookshop day so I couldn't resist. I got this from the lovely City Books where they have lots of books new but for the great price of $3.99 so I was very very happy with that and very happy to find a Ray Bradbury that I haven't read yet and don't own a copy of yet. I think this one is actually a novel and a lot of Ray Bradbury's books are collections of short stories so it'll be interesting to have a break from his short stories and read one of his novels and this one is set in Illinois. It says on the back that Dandelion Wine is the author's most deeply personal work so that's really interesting. Uh, a heady mixture of fond memory, forgiveness, the imagination and above all of summers that seem to go on forever. This sounds like a summery book that I could perhaps save for next year but I couldn't resist picking it up anyway. So the last book that I have to show I've received from Tandem Collective for a read-along on Instagram. I'm very excited for this. I think the read-along is going to be starting later in the month on the 26th. This arrived as an absolutely beautiful package. I'll put some pictures up on screen of what it looked like because it was beautiful. So thank you so much to Tandem Collective for sending me this for the read-along. Do check out Tandem Collective. I'll link their channel below and this was a book that I said a couple of videos ago that I was really highly anticipating and at that time that I said that I had signed up to the read-along but I didn't know if I was going to be selected to participate and then this came through the post so that's very very exciting and it is Hercule Poirot's Silent Night by Sophie Hannah. I've already said on the channel that I'm very excited for this but look how stunning this cover is. Um, I think this is a book set over Christmas. It's got a beautiful golden spine. Inside it's got these stunning Christmassy end papers. So they look fantastic. And inside the dust jacket we've got golden Poirot on the front and spine. So absolutely thrilled with this book that I've received for the read-along. The blurb on this one says, it's the 19th of December 1931. Hercule Poirot and Inspector Edward Catchpool are called to investigate the murder of a man in the apparent safe haven of a Norfolk hospital ward. Catchpool's mother, the irrepressible Th Cynthia, insists that he and Poirot stay with her in a crumbling mansion by the coast so they can all be together for the festive period while Poirot solves the case. Cynthia's friend Arnold is soon to be admitted to that same hospital and his wife is convinced he will be the killer's next victim though she refuses to explain why. Poirot has less than a week to solve the crime and prevent more murders if he is to escape from this nightmare scenario and get home in time for Christmas. Meanwhile someone else, someone utterly ruthless, has a dangerously different idea about what ought to happen to Hercule Poirot. I've really enjoyed Sophie Hannah's uh, books in the Spilling CID series that are not Poirot. I've enjoyed her Poirot series for what it is which is a continuation of Poirot. I don't find her Poirot to be exactly identical to Agatha Christie's Poirot but I think that's fine I'm prepared to go with it and I also do like the new character of Inspector Catchpole and yeah if you're not following my Instagram you can check that out in the links below it's always linked and over there is where I will be mainly talking about this one when the read-along comes along. So yeah, stay tuned to Instagram for more on this one. Very, very excited to get to that. Those are books that I've acquired in October, plus my Mr. Bees, which I'm very happy with yet again. So yeah, only a few more months left of the Crime Syndicate subscription. I think there will be a book in November and December and then that will be the end of my subscription. So I can't wait to see what else comes through, but I also do need to deal with my backlog of these now and I better get to reading some crime books. If you've read any of these books, do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you're joining in with the um, Sophie Hannah read-along, let me know. If you don't have a comment you want to make today, I'd love it if you left me an emoji to say that you've been here. Perhaps leave me um, an emoji that reminds you of Hercule Poirot or crime fiction and that will be great. If you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will hope very much to see you all again soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.